Man, what's going on, YouTube? We back at it again with another banger video. Man, as you can see by the title, this really like, uh, really like a just a little gun talk video. Man, I got some new goodies I'm about to unbox. As you can see by the cover, we got, you know, some new stuff I'm about to unbox. Also, I got the CZ in the bag because what I'm about to unbox is for the CZ Scorpion. So, let me go ahead and pull that out. So, y'all... If you've been on the channel, you know what I'm saying? You you didn't seen this beauty right here. Um, I got the 20 round mag in right now. I got the 30 uh, in the bag. Both are full of hollow points, so it's ready to go on some self-defense type shit. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me for all this coughing. I'm sorry. I got I got a little a little situation right here, right now. But um, also before we get into it, um, we're gonna be talking a little bit about. My damn prodigy, I also got that as well. You know, we in the car with it. I ain't did a car video in a long time. So I was like, you know what I'm saying? Let's switch it up real quick. And uh, before we get to it, man, EDC check, Glock 43X, no MOS, just your regular plain Jane. Got a little texturized grips on it type shit. And yeah, that's what we rocking for EDC for today. All right, now let's get into this unboxing. All right, first off, I got to pull out this handy dandy knife. And before we get into it, man, man, make sure y'all like up uh, the video, sub to the channel. We uh, just hit 2,000 subs like last week. Really, really appreciate it, man. We, you know, just trying to keep going, keep growing, uh, get, really getting close to being monetized, man. So I'm just trying to put out some content for y'all. Um, I'm going to do some more range stuff, you know, eventually, but it's hot outside, number one. Number two, I'm a busy person. I have to find time to do it. But let's get into this unboxing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open real quick. Now, let me give y'all the backstory on this. I got this light for free. Not really. Um, I bought a, a, a camera off of Amazon. I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of bullshitty. And I should have known by the price, it was $170, but it was like, okay, the camera's rated at 4K. Woo -doo -doo. And I was like, okay, let me give it a try. It was some bullshit. Long story short, sent it back. Amazon refunded my money. And uh, so I had $169 to play with. And if y'all saw my old short, which you probably haven't, I got for my CZ Scorpion, I had a Olight on it. I had it over a year, then some bullshit happened. And it needed to be replaced. And I haven't bought one because I didn't feel like buying another. Now, because I had that refunded money, we have new Olight. All right, so we got the new uh new on light, new O light. This is the Odin Mini, I think. Yeah, O light Odin Mini, uh, twelve hundred and fifty uh, lumens, which is really really good. Okay, really really good. Um, what what's the runtime on this thing? Uh, does it say it? Okay, um, on high it'll stay on for fourteen minutes constantly. Uh, no, it says six plus 11 plus 39. I don't know what the fuck that means. You can keep it on low on 200 lumens for five hours straight, which nobody's going to be doing it. But uh, this light was about $150. Um, it's Olight. You know, it is what it is. A lot of people don't like Olight. I, you know, it's just a light at the end of the day. You feel me? So I'm about to go ahead and unbox this real quick. Nice little packaging, nice design. Let's see if I can open this on the first try. Yes, sir. Uh, so when you get it, you know, yada, 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 they say what they say. We're going to open this sucker up. I'm just going to throw this over there because I already had one of these before. Um, and it did break. I don't know how, but it was probably, I don't know. It could have been something I did. But I was going to get the Enforce light. And then I was like, I looked at reviews on it. And like, yeah, it's good on some people. Like some people don't have no problems. And then other people was having a fuck ton of problems. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get what I know and, and, and stick to that. Because um, this thing is rechargeable. So, I'm like, I'm just going to stick with that. So, when you get it, you got the light, of course. I don't know if it's pre-charged. No, it is not pre-charged. Uh, I got to charge it up, which is fine. Um, it comes with a, uh, a pressure pad. Now, with this pressure pad, it is magnetic. So, what you're going to do... You take your O-Light, you stick it on there, all right? Now, it'll pull off like that. So what you do is you take this and you lock it up and it's not coming off. Pretty neat. 
um, and I'm gonna mount that pressure pad probably to the top this time. I had the side last time, but when I had it mounted on the side uh, without the actual mount, when it was in my bag, man, like any type of pressure was turning my light on and it was causing it to be on in my bag and I take it out and my light is hot as fuck. And I feel like that got a lot of the reason to do uh, with it breaking on me pretty much. Um, just being constantly on for no reason. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to mount it on top of here like so uh, this time. So we're gonna see how that works out and I don't know. I had it on the right side last time. I think I'm going to put the light on the left side uh, this time on the basis of if I don't want to run a pressure pad, I can just turn it on right here. Okay, so I feel like that's going to work out really nice. So let's go ahead and get into that. Okay, so right here is your little box of goodies where you're going to open it. Uh, not open it, but you're going to mount. All right, so you got your charger. We're gonna set that right here. And um, I know I'm talking a lot, y'all. <laughs> then you got your mount. It's an M-Lock mount. <clears throat> and hopefully I can do this in the car without fucking up. Um, matter of fact, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just skip up. Well, y'all not gonna see me put this on uh, cause it might take a little second. But we're gonna fast forward to when I do put it on. And then y'all see it in about three, two, one. All right, guys, we are back. Um, very simple process um before i show the full look oh like they make this thing so easy all you have to do literally they have the m lock things preset you don't have to really pop anything in yourself uh you just really want to find out where you want to put it once you put it where you want to put it slot them in the m lock slots and take your allen wrench and just key it in it's just simple as that um i had to go on the right side instead of the left because uh my charging handle it was just gonna obscure that and i didn't want it i didn't want to run the light low um it just aesthetically it doesn't look good and also i i just i ain't wanna i ain't wanna do that all right so uh what i did differently this time i'm actually using the pressure pad up top instead of on the side i had it zip locked to the side last time uh just so i can hit it with my thumb but what was happening when i was shooting i was accidentally turning my light on a lot and in my bag it was also turning on and just staying on and running my battery dead all the time. So I had to get rid of um, that idea. Um, this has nothing to do with the light, but I threw the 30 round mag. I just feel like aesthetically, you know, it looks better on the CZ for the video. Um, but I think it looks really nice with the pressure pad up top. Uh, you can see a slight bow in the pressure pad up here, which is not a deal breaker for me. Um, the only reason it's a bow in it is because this is not the original uh, handguard. And so it it low key might be slightly lower uh, or I don't just have I just don't have this pressure pad all the way down. But I think no, nah, it's all the way down. So it might just be that I it, that's not no deal breaker is not really not a, a con for me. Um, now, Olight does give you two zip ties, some uh, small zip ties. Uh, so you can, you know, lock down this cord because you don't want this thing flying up into your uh, picture of sight uh, or sight picture, however you want to say it. Um, so I use one of my sling slots over here and I zip tie that. And so now we have a complete package. I'm happy, super happy to have a light back on here. Um, hold up. There we go. Okay. Uh, super happy to have a light back on here because this is one of my home defense weapons. Um so uh probably you know if i had multiple people breaking into my home this is probably what i would use uh besides my ksg shotgun it just, it just really depends on the situation honestly but I, I have this thing with me a lot and i just honestly feel like it needs a light on it um and it it looks freaking sick with the light on it uh if i just gotta be honest now you know what? i'm starting to second guess this down pressure pad thing up top why is it so low on that side maybe i just gotta push down too far let me see nah it's just yeah it's just gonna have a little bow in it fuck it it'll be all right long as it be, long as it function <laughs> that's all that matter and i feel like it's gonna be a lot better up here um because sometimes i do tend to uh when i'm shooting i'll hold it by the uh magazine area a lot and so naturally my thumb will kind of be right here anyway 
so it'll work out fine or if i'm just not trying to you know use the light and sometimes i hold up here i'm good i ain't got to worry about pressing that light so that is my cz scorpion setup with the olight um the olight it runs great so you probably not gonna have too many issues with it um like i said last time i don't know what the fuck happened but it happened all right so let me put this down all right and let's get into some some gun talk all right now i said when i bought that ksg that i was done buying firearms then i bought a psa dagger and tricked that out and i was like okay i'm done and then i went to palmetto state armory and i didn't even mean to buy a firearm for real you know and i saw this damn prodigy and i was like bro i gotta have it now if I, I have a video talking about the prodigy and all of that stuff so i'm not gonna get into pros and cons on this video if you want to see that video i will have that video linked at the end of this video so you can you know see the pros and the cons the real spill on the prodigy um now since that video i have added this tlr1 uh hl streamlight um i got a holster for a owb holster um because i will never probably conceal this weapon uh i don't know maybe one day but as far as like edc i never do that I, that's not why i bought this i bought this because i wanted a 2011 no other reason this ain't really for self-defense or any of that uh if i'm at the range yeah i'm gonna have it on my hip because it's just a badass looking gun um it was 1300 dollars, but you know it's a good entry level 2011 uh, with some nice quality parts on it now this tlr1 is a game changer because it is it, it's fucking heavy and the gun is already heavy itself uh let me go ahead and show y'all the gun it is clear i didn't do that god you just gotta love the slide on these damn 2011s they just yeah now granted yes i know they got staccatos they have night hawks and they got this and they got that i know this ain't top tier but this is a 1300 dollars pistol regardless and it, it it runs great for me uh just make sure you all that sucker up but it, it's running real good now i am not done with this uh prodigy bill uh what i'm gonna do next i'm going to uh put my red dot that i have on my dagger i'm gonna put it on here i was gonna get the 507 comp but i was just like bro i'm not spending no more money on guns i've i've been ODing y'all this shit this shit low-key like an addiction man and i've been it, it's so hard all, all my real gun people out there you know how hard it is to fight that that damn gun itch to just buy you just want to buy 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 and it's like you think once you get done with a bill that you're gonna be good next thing you know you get done with that bill and you like fuck i, I want to damn I, I see this now you want to start on that project and it's just like it's like a never in the cycle of projects um keep in mind i love doing it i don't mind spending the money but it's just like I need to chill out, calm down, uh, and just work with what I got. I got nine firearms now. Um, I bought three in the first quarter of this year. So I'm like, nigga, chill out. But I'm going to put that uh, 507 CX2 up top. I have to buy the plate since I, I already got the red dot. The plate is $130. It is what it is. Um, but, yeah, man, this, I, I love it, man. From the trigger, like, it's just, just look at this break look at this break all right that that's your take up that's it that's all of the take up right there that's it and then the reset is phenomenal um i really love this tlr1 though it just it sets it off nice for me you know i could have got the surefire but hey i'm not no nah, i'm not spending another 300 on the light on an already 1300 dollar pistol and that's why i didn't get the 507 comp uh because that's another 350 dollars on a fucking red dot when I got one at the house on a dagger that I'm never gonna run. I only bought it for a little fun build because I already had the other parts and I just bought the uh, the frame, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, the dagger is looking good. It's coming together nice. When I get the hollow sun on there, it, it's gonna look real great. Um, other than that, I'm probably, I'm actually gonna buy some staccato mags. Um, it come with these Duramax um, and they've been fine. When I first got them, I feel like they needed to be broken in a little bit, but after I broke the gun in, uh, probably I say after a hundred rounds, I didn't really run into no issues anymore. Uh, a little over a hundred rounds, probably in that one, 
I say about 150, 170 mark. I haven't ran into an issue since. And I'm over 500 rounds in now. Uh, so I'm gonna run this somewhere this week at some point. I got a very busy week right now, man. I'm, uh, uh, 4th of July, I'm a barber. So, you know, I'm doing a lot of cutting this week. Also, I am going on a trip to Miami uh, with my guys next week. So I ain't gonna be able to get a whole lot of shooting in. So I'm gonna be dropping shorts and stuff uh, really just when I can, but yeah, that's where I'm at right there. Um, as far as any other bills I'm looking into getting into, I have no fucking idea. I, I'm gonna keep it a whole buck with y'all. I don't know what platform I want to go with. I don't know if it's gonna be AK. I don't know if I want to do a uh, another rifle bill. Um, I'm definitely not doing a, a backpack carry bill because my CZ it, it 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 knock off all the it checks off all the boxes that I need. So. I'm not doing that. And once I get done with this, I'm I'm not adding a magwell to it. I'm not doing that. Um, I'm not changing this trigger because this is my first 2011. This trigger is phenomenal to me uh, versus somebody else that got a staccato or, you know, Nighthawk or whatever the fuck, all those other things. So yeah, when I put this red dot, it's done. So I really don't know what other bills I might want to get into, man. And I know I'm rambling. That's why I said it's a gun talk video. You know, if you stayed this far, uh, I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be having some other videos coming out soon. Uh, Y'all already know with the whole political debate thing. We got a lot of shit going on right now, man. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about that another day. <laughs> just be ready, man. I'm, I'm actually going to going out to buy some ammo right now just for that reason. Because we all know how this shit go. People get nervous. People get scared. A lot of people are gonna be their uh, first time buying a gun because they're nervous and scared, and people about to hoard up on ammo. I'm like, fuck that. I'm about to go ahead and get some more because I like to shoot a lot. So I'm like, I'm about to go out, probably spend you know, a hundred, hundred fifty dollars, and get me some ammo, more nine mil than anything. Uh, I got plenty five five six, but you know, I need to get more, and um, that's what I'm about to do today. Uh, yeah, but. You just gotta love this thing. This is a fucking beautiful gun. Fucking beautiful. But yeah, man, that's all for the day. Um, once again, this is the O light. I feel like it looks really good on the CZ Scorpion. Um, definitely a big fan. Definitely a big fan. If you don't have a CZ Scorpion, and you've been thinking about getting one. You should get one. I'm also gonna link that video, uh, my CZ Scorpion video from last year. Uh, with all of my upgrades, uh, that video is almost at 10, uh, 10k. So, but uh, I'm gonna talk about where I got the upgrades in that video because all of this stuff is, all of this stuff it did not come with this gun besides the sights and this middle receiver. Everything else is upgraded, uh, except for the trigger selector switch. Everything else is upgraded. So, yep, that's that. But I know I've been rambling. I'm gonna let y'all boys and ladies go. Um, uh, before I get up out of here though, man, uh, make sure you like up the video, comment, subscribe to the channel, man. And I appreciate y'all. I'll let y'all next time, man. Peace.